In this tutorial, I'll discuss how you can move your library folders on the same device and across different devices. At Spitfire Audio, we have two types of libraries, ones that use our dedicated plugin and ones that use Native Instruments Contact. Each of these libraries require different steps when moving them on the same device and on a different device, so I've provided timestamps in the description which you can use below to skip to the part of the video that you need. Firstly, to move a Spitfire plugin library, we simply can drag and drop the folder from one hard drive to another. You'll notice that the transfer speed for this library is quite fast, and that's because I'm using SSD drives. If you're using a HDD drive or SSD drives and you notice that the transfer speed is quite slow, it might be because your hard drive is either not appropriate to use a sample library on, or it's not formatted correctly. More information is found in the description below. Now that we've moved the folder to our second hard drive here, I can now delete it from the original location. When we now open the Spitfire Audio app, you'll notice that the library has a red mark next to it. This is because the plugin can no longer locate the library contents folder because we've moved it to a different location. To let the plugin know the location that we've moved the library to, we can simply click on the library folder select the cog menu and then select locate. We can now browse for the location that the library is stored on by selecting the locator here. Once we've found the new location for the library, we can select the library folder and then select open, select locate and the application will now indicate that the library has been relocated successfully. You can select OK and you'll no longer have a red error mark next to the library name. If we're also moving a contact library on the same system, this is also easily done by using locate, but this time within the contact plugin itself. Select the library folder you wish to use and copy this across to the new location. You'll notice that my transfer speed again is quite quick here, and if you have a slow transfer speed, you might want to consider upgrading your hard drive to an SSD or checking whether it's formatted correctly. Information can be found in the description below. Now that we've successfully moved the library folder to the secondary device, I can move it to the bin. I've now opened contact on the same system and you'll see that there's now an error because contact cannot find the library content. To fix this, we simply select locate and then browse for folder, select the hard drive that you're now using and then find the library folder, select it and click open. You'll be prompted to confirm the changes and also type in your computer password. Now that we've changed the location, you'll now see that the library artwork is available and we can now drag and drop the instrument into our contact player window without any errors occurring. In the second part of this tutorial, I'm now going to discuss how you can move our libraries from one device to another. First, with Spitfire plugin libraries, it's worth noting that they currently cannot be used from one hard drive between two devices. There is a workaround for this, which can be found in the description below. However, we currently advise using one dedicated external hard drive for each device you use the library on. First, I've moved over the Eric Whitaker Choir Library from my laptop hard drive to my desktop hard drive, and now I wish to open the library in Logic. However, if I go to my instruments list and Spitfire Audio, you'll see that the Eric Whitaker Choir Library currently isn't listed. And this is because although we've moved the library contents, we've not yet installed the plugin on our second device. So to install the plugin, we'll need to repair the library in the Spitfire Audio app. You'll see that the library is already listed as installed because we've already downloaded it on our laptop. So to install the plugin on our device, all we need to do is repair the library. Select repair from here or from the dropdown. Then navigate to the location where the library is stored. Click on the library folder and then select open and repair. The app will take a couple of seconds to kick into action. Whilst it's authorizing and repairing one part of the library, we can now go back to the library page and repair the others. Whilst the rest of the library is repairing, it's worth noting that repairing the plugin will only replace patches and presets and will not replace the sample folder. If you also need to install the samples, you'll need to re-download the library by selecting Reset. 
skip to the end of this video to see how you can do that. It's also worth noting that repairing the library uses up one of your two resets that you get as part of the licensing for the libraries, which allow you to install it on two devices. If you do run out of resets, please contact support at spitfileaudio.com forward slash support. Now, when I reopen my DAW, you'll see that if I go to my instruments list, Eric Whitaker Choir is now available to open. In the final part of this video, we'll look at how you can move a contact library between two devices. When we open contact on our new device, you'll notice straight away that the library is not available in contact. This is because we've not yet authorized it on that device within native access. So the first thing that you should do is open native access and go to not installed where the libraries should appear here. If the libraries don't appear here, this is potentially because you've not yet authorized the library or you've logged into a different native access account that doesn't have the authorization for this library on it. There's two ways which we can then install the library from the not installed tab. The first with Spitfire Studio strings is to select add library. From here, we select Browse and then click on the hard drive that the library is stored on. Once we've located the library folder, select Open and then select Install. Some of our libraries are available on the Native Instruments store, which means instead of Add Library, they have Install next to them. If you've already downloaded the library, there's no need to install this again. We can simply select Locate, which pops up when you hover over the library bar. Select Locate, and in the same way that we did for the Studio Strings libraries, we select Browse. Select the hard drive that the library is installed on, and then select the library folder before clicking Open. Once you've clicked Open, select Install, and the library will now install into Contact. You'll see that now we've opened Contact, the library artwork is all in place for the libraries that we've just installed. If you cannot see the library in your browser, it's always worth checking Manage Libraries to see if the library is checked or unchecked. If it's unchecked, it will be hidden from this view. We also have some Contact full libraries that do not come with serials and do not require further authorization. For these libraries you can simply move them between your two devices and then browse for the library folders by using the files tab instead of the libraries tab. For more information on how to access non-player libraries click on the link in the description below. If you do need to reinstall one of our libraries from scratch it's possible to do this by selecting on the library artwork within the application, selecting the cog menu and then selecting reset. You'll be asked whether you want to reset to the latest update or the entire library. If you only select latest update, this will just update the install for the latest update that was made for that library. And the entire library will reset the entire library from scratch. Now that we've selected reset, you'll see that the install button is now available for this library. If you do run out of library resets and need to contact support, make sure that you tell us the reason you need to reset the library and do contact us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.